Hi guys, I've been busy building strange things again. I was gonna make a, a uh, relay vibrator, um, but I, I figured I'd use a bit bigger coil, and and so I've got uh, so car points there. I made the spring on a bit weaker. Um, I've got a, a screw back here just to show the magnetizing force. I've got a bolt with the thread cut off it to um, attract the switch. There's not much steel there to attract but it still works. It could work better if it was modified. Um, power comes in comes in over here through the coil and through the switch magnetizes the core the core opens the switch magnetic field collapses comes out the diode through the load and back to the positive of the source battery the, I've got a temporary negative here and the positives are already connected down over there the positive of the battery so I can have the meter to work. Okay, I've got a few things here. I'm going to power, I've got six LEDs in series with 1200 and something ohms there of resistance on the board. I'm going to charge it with cap and see what voltage that gets to. I'll see if I can run this motor. I haven't even tried that yet. I've got a 5 watt bulb there that lights up okay and a couple of neons. Okay, I'm out of the camera. Okay, first I'll light the, the light. What I want to show really first of all though is without the load connected Good, good force on the screw. With the load, With the load there. You just can't get the same. Still not a slightly less magnetizing force there with the load in place, so I think. That was a 5 watt bulb. This one, one neon. Not sure if you can see the spark. They're very small, sparking on over here. When it goes to no load, it does crackle at the, at the gap. Let's pull that out of the way. Once you get a little hot.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. 